And is facing a murder charge in the death of her almost two year old daughter. Arrest documents show Alexavia Aguirre had a deadly amount of fentanyl in her system when she died. And now her mother, Alexandra Howell, is behind bars. She was arrested for those charges this week. News 12's Will Rio has been combing through those court documents and shares some new details about this case. Arrest warrants show Howell faces murder by ch uh, child abuse, plus two counts of unlawful neglect of a child or helpless person. Now, those arrest warrants are telling a different story than what Howell told us more than two months ago. Last month, Alexavia and her family would have celebrated her second birthday. Instead, her mother, Alexandra Howell, is behind bars, charged with her death. It's been complete hell. I can't even begin to process it. I don't I don't want to live in a world without my daughter. This was Howell back on January 23rd, three days after her daughter died. She came to News 12 to tell her side of the story. I, I, I really don't even know what happened to her, and that's what hurts the most. But arrest warrants paint a different picture than what she shared with us that day. Howell says that she used fentanyl to reduce swelling in her face because of a tooth problem. It was not around the baby. It was not around any of the children. Or nothing. It was put up elsewhere, but they did find it, you know, whenever everything had went on. The warrant reads Howell left non prescribed drugs and narcotics within reach of her oldest child, even giving her a migraine cocktail. Toxicology reports indicated an overdose on benzos. Howell told me she took her oldest to the hospital and sat in the parking lot because she had a bad headache. The warrant also states Howell did commit homicide by child abuse of Alexavia. Originally, in an incident report to deputies, she drove back home from the hospital and Zay fell asleep in the car. She carried Zay into the home and put her into bed. While Howell was trying to leave, she stated that Zay felt cold and that she was still breathing, so she put her on the floor next to the air vent to warm up. The homeowner came into the room and found Zay with purple lips and she wasn't breathing. They began CPR and called 911. You know, what I had was put up. There was no way she could have gotten a hold of it. The warrant contradicts Howell's statements to us, saying upon Howell realizing the child was in medical distress, she concealed the emergency from others, failing to provide the child with required life-saving medical attention while carrying out normal activities and ignoring the emergency for hours. Toxicology reports indicate Alexavia ingested a fatal amount of fentanyl. As for Alexandra's two other children in this case, she told us that that day that in January there was a court hearing to decide where these children would be placed. In the meantime, we were told that they would be with another family member.